as long as we've been here on this channel, we've tried to help our viewing community with how-tos or buyer's guides or tips on which tools to buy. A lot of questions from DIYers are, hey listen, what kind of drill and driver bits should I be putting with my hard tools or my Ryobi tools? What do you suggest? Should I get the matching heart drill driver set? And I'm gonna be honest with you, my piece of advice for those people looking to accomplish those DIY or projects for the homeowner would be to pair your DIY or homeowner brand tools with contractor grade bits and drill bits and driver bits because contractor grade drill bits and driver bits don't cost that much money relatively speaking when comparing it to tool purchases the drill and driver bits where the rubber meets the road so to speak so your experience should be so much better but some of you kind of pushed back and said hey i don't want to spend 30 40 50 bucks for an assortment of bits that would accomplish everything that I need to accomplish. So what we did was we grabbed this 70 piece drill and drive set from Hart. It's under 20 bucks. Now, is it any good? That's the question. And we're going to explore that and find out right after this message from our sponsor, BCG Construction. If you want to help out with the channel, head on over to the merch store. You can get hats, hoodies, t-shirts, stickers. Link will be down below. So this drill bit kit has a whole bunch of everything in there. And I gotta tell you, a lot of times these bigger kits from the lower end tool manufacturers, they kind of disappoint. They really do. I have a little unknown fact for you. Here it is. The shockwave line of drill and driver bits, okay, that is made by Milwaukee Tool was actually researched and developed by Ryobi. <laughs> and TTI said, whoa, this, this line of driver and drill bits is too good for Ryobi. We're gonna, we should move it up range to Milwaukee and that's what they did. So maybe this line of drill and driver bits from heart, maybe it will impress us. There's a whole bunch in here. It's made, you can see here, 70 piece drill and drive sets made for metal, wood, PVC, and masonry. You can see we have Phillips, we have slotted, square, or Robertson Torx, as well as some nut drivers in here. You'll see in Phillips, we have a one inch and two inch assortment. In slotted, we have one inch and two inch. In square, or Robertson, one inch, two inch, Torx one inch and two inch. Only goes up to T30 though. I wouldn't expect it to go up much higher. We do have some one inch Allen drives. You'll see here, eighth, five thirty seconds and quarter. We have nut drivers. Titanium drill bits. That's impressive. Masonry bits, hole saws, brad points, and spaddle bits. Half inch, three quarters and one inch. I gotta tell you, I personally, I hate this kit already. But that's just me, and I'm being honest with you. I never seem to like these, these lower end kits. I don't, I just don't. Let's get this thing open. And it's got a nice little clamshell case. It's pretty cool for the homeowner and DIYer. There's a whole bunch in here, including a nail set, a cushioned nail set. I don't, I don't necessarily see it, but whatever. It has a punch. Nothing wrong with that. Here's the deal, we have our masonry bits here. We have our, our titanium bits here and here. I feel like all of the titanium bits should be in one row. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't necessarily like the way this is laid out already, but this does flip up. I feel like a lot of you are gonna run out of patience and like snap this off. Maybe I'm wrong, but maybe I'm right. We have those two inch drive bits here. These bits are not held unbelievably securely in here, but they are held in there. Now, these as well, like there's no, like here, this flips up, and then we're able to get to our number two drill bits or driver bits. 
we have some spade bits. These, these obviously are impact rated. These are non-self-feeding spade bits. I'd like to see how these do. The way you know that these are made for an impact driver is this relief cut in the hex, okay? You, that, that is there specifically so that a ball bearing in the collet of the impact driver can retain this bit. Some of the old timers are unaware of these new fangled inventions like running water and impact rated spade bits made for drilling with an impact driver. It's like new technology or, so, or as some of you had called it before, witchcraft. Ooh. <laughs> Here's something I'm very interested in, our magnetic guide to hold our one and two inch bits, pretty much our, our one inch bits. This is also made to be chucked into an impact driver because of that relief cut there. Say it. I feel like I wanna do some, some drilling and driving. I mean, I feel like you're, you've come here for that. And quite frankly, I'm like tired of just looking at stuff. I, I wanna start using the tools. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw a number two bit in there. Now I will tell you, that there is a nice amount of magnetization there. The bits are thoughtfully marked. You can see here, this is PH2 or Phillips number two. Well, Phillips number two fits pretty, pretty good. Those are inch and five eighths drywall screws. These are three inch drywall screws. And here's the thing. Why do I start with Phillips number two? Well, generally, Phillips number two can tell me a whole bunch about this kit. If a tool company or a tooling company cannot get the Phillips number two bit right, and what I mean by right is, if they make a Phillips number two that doesn't fit a Phillips number two screw well, or fastener well, you're gonna get a lot of cam out, the bit will slip inside the screw. You're gonna strip out the screw. More importantly, you're gonna create like this self-fulfilling prophecy. The Phillips number two bit doesn't fit a screw well. You're gonna get that cam out and it's going to not only strip out this screw, it's also gonna prematurely wear out the Phillips number two bit even more. And it just gets worse and worse and worse. It's terrible. But I'm not experiencing that here. Look, pretty good. We throw that three inch screw on there. Pretty good. Let's see if we can accomplish the just a chip tip challenge with with the uh, the heart number number two. Oh, that was impressive. That's a feat that's only accomplished by much higher end driver bits in my experience. Let's see how the the Torx bits fit. Here's T20, very common. I will say that the German and American uh, manufacturer of fastener that use a Torx drive, generally RT20. The counterpart to the American and German would be the Chinese manufacturer of fasteners that use Torx. Generally they use like T25. For number 10s is what I'm relatively speaking. I see a bump up to T25 for number 10. See that, that movement? That is a little uns unsteady, unsure. I mean, it doesn't keep it from driving. I just would like to see a little bit tighter of a fit. I mean, we don't have a problem there, but if we take the original equipment manufacturer's <laughs> bit, we pop it into the fastener, you can see we don't have that wiggle. See here with this bit, See how the, fat, the, the screw is wiggling on the drive bit? You see that? Okay, now I want you to look at the difference. See how it's locked together and it's wiggling the drive bit? I mean, we do have a little bit of wiggle, but not nearly the amount. When we go to drive this screw, okay, we're, we're not wiggling on the fastener as much. Now, not every driver bit's gonna be 100% perfect, I suppose, but when it comes to driving those Torx headed screws, a lot of times the bits that come with the box of screws, they're pretty doggone awesome. But if you, lo if you lose your drive bit, it's good to have backup. There's a little bit, it's a little bit of extra play, like 
but it's not terrible. We also have some two inch driver bits. People will chuck these like directly into an impact driver. It, it turn like it makes my blood run cold. I feel like every, every, every drive, driver bit needs magnetization or needs to be in a guide or sleeve. I, I don't really love these number two bits unless there's a solution to turn them magnetic other than running them through a magnetizer because magne magnetizers don't last. Running a magnetizer over this is not a permanent solution. We also have some spade bits here. Hey, they're impact ready. Let's see how they do. Now, I will say this. It's not the most aggressive, okay? But I'm gonna tell you this much. Come and take a look at this hole. That's pretty doggone clean. Like not a lot of tear out at all. Little bit on this edge. And that's it, that's a pretty doggone clean hole. Let's try the one inch. And this time, let's go through the USB down here, see how it does. Didn't do that bad. We did get a little bit of tear out here. But it went through fairly quick for a non, for a non self feeding. Let's see how it does through the fur. Pretty nice. It cuts a nice clean hole. We also have an arbor for a hole saw. Look at this. Yo, look at that. It's not designed for the impact driver. <laughs> I know some of you old timers are like, you gon' done diddly done it now. You can't put a whole saw in an impact drive. You done diddly done it. Don't worry. We're gonna chuck it into this drill, okay? You gon' done done diddly done it. <laughs> Your blood's boiling. You're gonna type in right now. I got you, listen. You, you know how to use a smartphone or a computer to watch this video and comment, but you, never, you, you don't know that you could put a drill bit in an impact driver? Come on, come on, man. All right, so what we're gonna do is, ah! Nah! This is two and an eighth of an inch. I don't know, maybe it's the way I chucked it in. It's not very, uh... That wobble is not operator error. But let's see how it cuts. Okay, so I'll tell you, look, is it contractor grade? Are you gonna get tons of cuts out of it? Maybe not, but it's pretty sharp. We just went through this half inch OSB, no problem. I mean, it's not like a lot of homeowner grade stuff that we've tested previously where you can't even get one hole out of it, bizarre. This actually is doing a pretty good job. With that being said, let's, let's try to drill a second hole in speed two, see if we get it done faster. Pretty quick, I'm impressed. Pretty sharp, cannot deny that. Definitely not the fastest interface for a hole saw, but obviously it'll get the job done. If you need two, and one eighth of an inch hole because there's only one hole sole in here. Okay. Next up, the Brad Point bits. This is good if you need to be super precise, right? I could hit that mark again perfectly. Boom, I'm on it, okay? Not bad. Are you going to 
use this bit day in and day out and have the same results. No, it's, it most likely will wear out. But for a homeowner or DIYer that infrequently accomplishes tasks or jobs, this might work. Maybe you need something a little more durable. Maybe you need the titanium. I will tell you this much. I mean, we have a 3 8 inch bit. I mean, a 3 8 inch bit at this point, you know, you're, you're talking about, you know, like a $15 drill bit made from titanium. And this feels pretty doggone sharp. The whole kit was under 20 bucks. Pretty crazy they included something this large in there. Not bad, they're pretty good. Let's see how it does in metal. We put a drop of oil on here. I know what some of you are saying. That's why they give you this punch. I mean, reality is, maybe that's true. Maybe that's the reason they do give you the punch. So if you were gonna drill through metal and you didn't have the luxury of a 135 degree split point bit, a lot of times you will put down what's called a witness mark. So you take your punch, you'd make your witness mark. You could see it right there. You could see. So we drilled out our witness mark. I'm impressed with the fact that it's actually cutting through that metal. If this was a lesser, and I'm, and I'm just gonna say, it, I've tested in the past, previously I've tested Ryobi driver and drill bit sets. They're atrocious, they are atrocious. Yes, they might have done the R&D work for, for Shockwave for Milwaukee, but TTI gave them, you know, I don't know what it is that they gave them. I, I hated it, I thought it was terrible. I really thought that this heart kit was going to be similar, but so far, so far it's impressing me. It's pretty impressive. That's drilling a nice clean hole. And you can see, with good consistent downward pressure, we'll be through this in no time. We also have nut drivers. These are non-magnetized. They can be chucked directly into an impact driver. I, I kind of feel like you should be able to magnetize these things. All you'd have to do is put your fastener in there, hold it until it's in place. I mean, there's no cam out that fits good for 5 sixteenths on the number 10 fastener. Okay even with longer one inch self, self tapping fasteners. Works pretty good. Not ideal, I'd like to see a magnet, but at $20 for the entire kit, or less than $20, I mean, how much could you nitpick? And finally, we're gonna test out the included masonry bits. We're not gonna test out all of them. We're gonna test out this one, and this is 5 sixteenths. See how it does. We have 5,000 PSI, concrete poured into this bucket. I will tell you that it was poured many, many, many moons ago. So it is fully cured. We have our heart hammer drill that you all asked for, for us to bring in. And we tested it in a tool test raw against a very similarly, similarly priced hammer drill. If you wanted to see that tool test roll with this hammer drill, if you're trying to make up your mind, should I be buying that hard hammer drill? Go to that video there. <laughs> cut through fairly rapidly. Not bad. Seemed to hold tight. It didn't, it didn't open the hole up unnecessarily. Does that mean unnecessary? So if you were using this to drill a hole to put a fastener or a, a molly bolt or something of that nature in there, it, it should work well. You know, it didn't, it won't, didn't set a record for cutting through the concrete. Now, whether that's a product of the hammer drill or the drill bit, 
I mean, I don't know. We could possibly do some further testing with a contractor grade tool using those masonry bits to kind of see what the weak link is. But overall, for what you're getting in this bit kit for less than 20 bucks, it seems like a win to me. Now, would I still recommend using a contractor grade drill and driver bit kit, especially if you're a hardcore DIYer, someone that's going to really want to, their, really wants their tools to perform? Uh, yes, I would. I still would, because even though you're investing more money, they're going to last longer. You're going to get a, a better finished result especially with the hole saws. The hole saws, if you're using them uh, multiple times a day during a project, a better grade of hole saw, like hole dozer, okay, will, will definitely make you more productive. But as a value proposition, if you're not planning on doing much with your kit, you might do a project every few months or once a year, then yeah, I, I, I'm pretty impressed, especially with the number two Phillips drives. I would say you're pretty safe getting this kit. And if you like being pretty safe when making a purchase, then smash the like button. It's free for you to do. It helps out the channel immensely. And you'll get seven years of good luck. Also, leave it down in the comments section below. How do you like to pair your drill and driver bit sets with tools? Do you like using a more expensive driver bit set or drill bit set with a lower grade tool because you're a DIYer or homeowner? Are you a professional that uses like Hart or Ryobi and you even use the Hart and Ryobi driver and drill bit sets and it gets the job done and it makes you money? We want to hear from you too. Leave it all below. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. See you all on the next one. Video's over. But I know you want more, so this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.